Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Nadaraj Deep Dark Writing Pencil. Um, so I bought these on Amazon and they are from Hindustan Pencil Company. Um, a lot of those different ones have made it to the US, but I hadn't seen these before. Um, CW doesn't carry them that I know of, um, nor does any of the other pencil places. So um, I found these on Amazon. They actually shipped from India, um, like a third party person but um so they were 450 basically with free shipping um and so there's 10 pencils inside that makes it about 45 cents per pencil uh also included though you get a free sharpener and eraser so really it's a pretty decent deal um so uh deep dark writing pencils uh these say on the back deep dark lead for darker impression superior wood for easier sharpening bonded lead for extra strength and meets international quality standards um the only problem i may have with that um those four things there is the superior wood uh it sharpens fine but um as we'll see let's just take a look Um, as you will see, all the cores are fairly centered for the most part, but let's just see this middle one right here. Look at that. It's just chipped all the heck, and the stuff is flaking real bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is that uh, Jello Tong, or. Yeah, Jello Tong wood. Gelatin wood, yeah. Um, you can tell I have one sharpened here. Uh, it's most usually told by the kind of like pitted dots. Uh, this pencil was like this one, all chipped up and stuff, uh, before I sharpened it. Ever since I sharpened it, it was fine. Um, really, so it was just the end. Um, so, let's see. That's a rolling pencil. Um, so it's it's kind of like it's got the silver uh, in dip and plus then that same color is alternating stripes. Um, the other color is kind of weird. Um, it's kind of a stone lavender type color, um, and it, it they're close enough to where it just kind of looks ugly, you know, like they're close enough in color. It's like. I said in my review, if you uh, wear two different black fabrics, like one shirt and one pants, and they aren't the same, they, they, they're both black, but they don't really quite match. And I feel like that's the way with this pencil. Um, it's just kind of blah. Uh, so I'm not a big fan. Um, it's got a you know silver foil there, as you can see. Um, but... The quality of the paint itself is really not up to the standards of other um, not our Hindustan pencil company, Nataraj or Apsara pencils. Um, I'm trying to find one. I have one that's got a really bad, like it's like the stripe doesn't quite isn't quite straight, um, but. The way the reason I say that more than anything is the end dip. As you can see, it's kind of like just this paint is all over the place, and here it's like some ink and stuff was dripping or something. I'm not quite sure, but it's like the color wasn't quite mixed up all the way, or it kind of pooled there when it was dripping off and dried weird. I don't know, but every single one of them is like that, so some worse than others, but yeah, they just kind of look ugly. And every Nataraj pencil I've ever used or every Apsara pencil I've ever used didn't, hasn't done this. So, um, I just kind of feel like that's, it's kind of crappy quality. Um, maybe I don't know much about this pencil cause it's not even on their website. Um, maybe this is their cheap pencil. A lot of their pencils use this, uh, Joe Longwood. Others use, um, basswood i don't know of any of their pencils that use cedar um, on the back here i noticed it says packaged in november of 2015 so a little over a year and three months ago uh, i don't 
I have seen some reviews, like video reviews of other people uh, reviewing these pencils, and they had basswood ones uh, instead of the Jetulong. So, or I, I, I'm gonna butcher that. I keep forgetting the name of a Jelutong, Jelutong uh, wood. So, yeah, um, comes with this eraser and this sharpener. Um, if you've ever purchased a pack of the uh, Casemates Premium pencils, the like eight pencils in a tube for 97 cents, that are basically the um, Opsera Platinum uh, pencils, you'll, you'll be familiar with this uh, sharpener. It is basically the same thing. Um, it's a short point sharpener. Um, it does the trick. I mean, can't be free, right? Um, I think the packaging is cooler than the sharpener itself, although I do like the color. I like green, so, um, but yeah. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then the Nataraz Jumbo Plasto, which I didn't use. I have a few of these, um, so I didn't bother to use them. I'm imagining they're the same as the Apsara ones. Um, these, uh, it's not really jumbo. I mean, it's pretty tiny, really, but free. And probably lasts for the whole 10 pencils, that's for sure. Okay, so um, let's talk about the real star of the show here. The core is what's important, right? So um, it is a dark pencil. Um, they're very light. They're very light pencils, and but they don't feel, I mean, other than like kind of the lacquer being kind of blah, they don't feel um, cheap, really. I mean, they're they're pretty solid. They feel pretty solid. I think a lot of that has to do with it, the fact that there's no ferrule and eraser attachment. So really, like, there's nothing to really jiggle around. They're all straight. They all roll straight. You know, they're not messed up. But um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I weighed one. 4.4 uh, .4 grams. One of them unsharpened was. Um, but let's see here. I'm going to try to do this. Not to run. Oh, I clipped it. I, I tend to do that. I'm a heavy, I have a heavy hand if you couldn't hear or tell. Um, and I had just sharpened it in a long point sharpener. So, um, still got a fairly long thing. Um, I think it's dark. Yeah. Um, I have a heavy hand, so um, if I use my, uh, what I like to call my pin pressure, my fountain pin pressure, um, it's still fairly dark. I mean, not as dark as my normal pressure, but yeah, it's still, still fairly dark. Uh, in my review, I mentioned that it is, um, oh, this is a, two rivers by the way so it's the normal finch paper 50 pound though uh, instead of the newer 60 pound because this is obviously an older model um i uh mentioned in my review that uh, the core hardness is probably between the 621 and the nataraj bold like probably like right in the middle um, but the, the darkness of the core is, in, is probably closer to the bold. Um, it still is not as bold or as dark as the bold, but it's closer in that scale between those two pencils. It would be closer to the bold. Whereas hardness wise, it's probably like straight in the middle. Um, it's not as hard as the 621 and it's not as soft as the bold, but, um, so, uh, overall, I like the core a lot. Um, the, this coloring just, blech, I'm not a big fan. Um, it, I like the silver and I like this like kind of lavender, but together it's just not, not good. Um, and I was disappointed in the quality of the, uh, the application of the paint itself. So, um, yeah, uh, Check out the review on the blog. I do a little bit of a deeper dive. Um, 
And if you want to see more reviews like this one or anything else, please give a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you liked what you see. Uh, check me out on leadfast.org if you haven't already or if you're not watching this video from me embedding it in my post. Uh, so thanks guys. We'll see you next time.